they squat. And then on Sunday, they accused me of taking them one and a half million dollars. And at that point, we're not in junior high school throwing mud at the wall, which I ignore. You've never heard me mean tweet, not even a single person on my side of the fence. Now we are in a disinformation campaign. You're accusing me of a federal crime, and we are going to put the truth on blast. So did I steal one and a half million dollars? Hell to the no. I brought them. That was Lee Dundas, the lead organizer of the D.C. Truckers Convoy that's pointlessly circling the Capitol right now. The self-described human rights attorney is doing her damnedest to avoid shade associated with participating in the insurrection on January 6th. But per the footage that we all seem to have, she's not doing a very good job at it. Welcome to TYT's Overruled. I'm your host, Adrian Lawrence. Lee Dundas has been quite a voice on the right lately, and it appears that her voice has been used to showcase her shenanigans. Check this out. So before a crowd of like-minded Trumpers, Dundas claimed that she was photographed, videoed, whatever, at the January 6th insurrection because she was walking a disabled person back to their car and they needed to sit down at the Capitol. Yeah, seriously. Here she is at Clay Clark's 2022 Reawakening American Tour with her excuse. Was I at the Capitol? Heck yeah, I was on a stage a mile away the entire day. At the end of it, I walked a woman who had a double knee replacement back to her car. She got tired, sat on a planter, and happened to be in front of the uh, Capitol. And a a friend or a a fan took a selfie, and there I am at the door of the Capitol, according to the WAPO. Yep, Dundas is claiming that she was being the Good Samaritan on 1-6. Oddly enough, there's footage of her from that day at the U.S. Capitol and appears to suggest that Dundas was doing something different perhaps standing outside the Capitol yelling, traitor. This is not going away anytime soon. This is 1776 all over again. We are fighting for our freedom. Traitor, traitor, traitors, 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 traitor, 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 traitor. Gosh, that doesn't seem to be just that quick holdover so Granny could take a rest. It really seemed to appear that Dundas is participating in the insurrection. I can't help but wonder if this woman is afraid that her activities on January 6th will jeopardize her law license or possibly prevent her from possibly holding office in the future. Yikes. I also can't help but wonder if Dundas realizes that she looks more foolish lying in the face of indisputable footage. Mind you, this is footage that Dundas herself posted on her own social media accounts. But hold that question for now. Let's look at more insight from Dundas' commentary from her Reawaken America tour, as it's quite informative. Here's the 50-ish year old attorney recounting essentially how big money donors sought to sideline her because of her shenanigans. And they really kind of think she's just unhinged. Here you go. And they're like, well, about this disassociating from you because you're such a hot potato. And I'm like, "Just, just hold your fire. Let me school you a little more. You're a rich guy, and your sole stock in trade is you write really big checks to the movement. Checks don't win this war. Checks by people like me to be the tip of your spear and be your boots on the ground to fight your war for you. This is a two-variable equation. I need you, and you need me. And he said... For the good of the group, you should stand down. And I said, hell no, for the good of the group, I'm going to stand up because let me tell you something. You're just the latest in a long line. You're the truckers this month. A few months ago, it was the railroaders, and then it was the pilots, and next month, it'll be something else. And the way I am able to surround them with a million dollars worth of assets and resources is through this microphone. That is how people know me. That is the connections I make. That is how I keep you safe. This is my weapon. You are committing an act of treason to try to take it away from me, and I use it better than anyone I know. Treason. That is an interesting way to describe someone who's unwilling to hire you. Dundas indeed may be unhinged, but what are your thoughts? You let me know in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button, and thanks for watching.